Okay, so if you're a loyal listener to my channel, you'll know that I'm pretty bullish on the real estate market short term. I made this video Tuesday of why I think the real estate market will surge as soon as the economy opens back up. And then the very next day, NAR came out with some data that really backed up what I was trying to say. So I also made a video about that. And always, if you start trying to predict the market or predict what's going to happen, you're always going to have some people trolling your channel, trolling your Instagram accounts, and commenting about why it's not going to happen or why things are so gloom and doom for them. So today, I'm going to share with you a couple of those comments, and I want to respond to them with facts that I think you're really going to find interesting. And then I'm going to share with you many, many, many positive comments of agents all over the place, straight crushing it over the last 30 days. Now, if you're like me and you think the real estate market is really going to surge over the next 30 days, smash the like button for me right now. And if you think the market is going to absolutely crumble and just crash and go to zero, I want you guys also to smash the like button because, hey, you know, either way it goes, no matter what you think about this or how you feel, we're all going to win. Transactions are never going to go to zero. And like I've been saying for years now, I'm trying to get you to understand that closings are going to continue to happen every single day, regardless of what the market does. And all the data that I'm seeing and all the facts are proving my point in a big, big way. And just so you don't think that all I do is just work, work, work every single day of my life, 24 seven and never sleep, this is what I do every time the wind blows. And here's my sweet daughter yesterday before her and my wife jumped in our pool. And also, if you missed it, I started a second YouTube channel to start posting a lot of my clips and live calls and so on and so forth. And I just posted my third video there. It's of me calling a for sale by owner live. So I'll link that below. Go there for me. Please subscribe. That's where I'm going to be posting a lot of the real estate coaching uh, content and clips and podcasts and calls and so on and so forth. Okay, so here's the first comment. This comes from an agent out of Jersey. Market is dead up here in New Jersey, my man. I'm sure it's regional, but let's not pretend things are fine in this space. So this guy is obviously not paying attention to the data whatsoever. And I went back and forth with him a little bit uh, on Instagram. You can go there and, and catch that conversation. But there was an agent in his area that chimed in and he said, where are you at in Jersey? Would be happy to compare notes. Listed a house last week, blew up like anything I've ever seen. So here's an agent trying to tell him, hey man, the market is extremely active right now, even during the middle of all this. You know, quit thinking like that. Let's get to work and let's get out there and let's contact people and see what we can do to help them. So after going back and forth with this agent for a little bit, I decided to just do a little research and kind of see where New Jersey stood in this whole thing and i'll put a link to the entire report for new jersey realtors down below for you to see for yourself but this was a monthly snapshot for march okay one year change in closed sales all properties down five percent okay five percent only down five percent in sales okay one year change in homes for sale down 28.9 percent Okay, this is actually a really good thing because if inventory is lower, okay, then that means it's going to balance out with, with any demand that we lose out of this. That is, that's a great number. Okay, and then the one-year change in medium sales price, look at this, up 11.6% in March. Prices were up 11.6% in New Jersey. Okay, let's break the data down just a little bit further here. Single family closed sales were, were down 6.8% to 5,648 sales. Closed deals. Okay, every closed deal represents a buyer and a seller. That's two opportunities. So multiply that number times two and that's how many opportunities were in the market. Okay, condo closed sales were down 4% to 1,741. Okay, adult community closed sales were up 14.4% to 595 sales. Okay, and then the, the median prices 
on single families increased 11.7% for a median price of $335,000. Condos were up 8.3% and adult communities were up 19.6%. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but it sounds like New Jersey is straight crushing it in March. Okay, let's look at the numbers that really matter to me right here. Okay, these are to me a little bit more interesting numbers. Okay, new listings. Okay, last March in 2019, there were over 13,000 new listings. Okay, there were still this year over 9,000, over 9,400 listings. Okay, it's down a lot, but you still have 9,400 new listings coming up on the market in the month of March. Okay, and then this is the number right here that just blows me away. Okay, pending sales. Last March 2019 were 7,826. This year, we're still over 7,000, 7,083 pending sales down 9.5 percent okay there's only 10 percent less so there's more than 90 percent of the people from last march still putting in contracts to close on properties this march that number is absolutely phenomenal to me and in terms of pending deals new jersey's still up year over year year to date almost three percent so as far as not pretending things are fine in the space I would say that things are incredibly fine in this space, especially in New Jersey. Let's move over to another comment from an agent up in Ontario. He's in Simcoe County, and he says New York and California are playing it safe with the COVID-19. Second wave will be coming in the fall and winter. It's better to wait and see what happens. No one knows, Ricky. So I kind of went back and forth with this one uh, also. And, uh, I mean, what is he saying there? Better to wait till the fall and the winter and see what happens with the second wave. Meanwhile, all these deals are closing. All these new listings are popping up on the market. All these pending deals are happening right under our noses. So, again, I just went straight to the data. I pulled up Simcoe County. This is Simcoe County, okay, The average price of homes sold in March of 2020 was a record $459,462, rising 15.9% from March of 2019. So month over month, month of 2020 March compared to March of 2019, prices were up 15.9%. The year-to-year basis, home sales totaled 142 units over the first three months of the year. That was an increase of 13.6% from 2019. There were 101 new residential listings in March of 2020. Okay, so 100 new listings in March of 2020, and it was only down, that was only down 1% which equaled one listing on a year-over-year basis. So I'm very confused on what we would be waiting on. Business is happening really almost as normal when you look at the data. Now, the months of inventory in Simcoe County was at 2.6. 2.6 months of inventory at the end of March 2020. Okay, down from the 3.2 months recorded at the end of March 2019 and below the 10-year average of 5.7 months for this time of year. Okay, this represents how many months it would take to sell the current inventory actively on the market, and that number is incredible for real estate agents in that area. The problem would be if inventory was rising, if you have low demand and high supply, that's not a great situation for prices, but that's not what we have. Okay, we have a low inventory. So this is a great thing for that agent in particular. And the total value of all homes sold in March was $26.6 million, jumping 20% from the same month in 2019. Wow. Now, if you still don't believe that the market is in really good shape, okay, I'm going to share with you uh, several comments from agents all over the place that are absolutely crushing it. Here's one right here from some uh, from a real estate team in Orlando. They are killing it. They've closed 50 deals this year and have 15 pending right now. 
Okay, here's one from BJ Freeman. This was from one day ago. He called a little over an hour that day, 93 calls, okay, eight contacts, four people want to sell. It's just a matter of putting in the work. Okay, here's Jordan out of Atlanta. He said that market is absolutely surging right now. He's on his 90-day board, okay, people that are thinking about doing something within the next 90 days. He literally has 26 clients looking to buy or sell in just the next 90 days. Here's another one. He said, in my area, house prices went up by 4% in March. We're seeing an increase in price, and with Fed, we don't see any slowdown. Chris says, I was shocked to see that there were more closed sales this March and for more money than the same time last year in the Florida panhandle. I only lost one deal and one listing, but picked up two new listings and submitted an offer for two buyers. Agents that are not working hard are missing out. Chaos brings opportunity. And I'll agree with him on one thing. This is one of the greatest opportunities of all time when most agents are laying down and there's all this business going on. I believe that there's actually more deals per agent, per working agent, let's say. There's more transactions available per working agent than at any time that I can remember in history. Here's an agent telling us they have three pending buyers, three listings went up over the weekend. Two of them were already under contract. This is a recent comment, guys. Okay, she put three listings up over the weekend and two are already under contract and listing another one today about three new motivated buyers one has to sell and buy okay so that agent is incredibly busy right now okay Christopher says he closed one escrow and put two more in contract okay here's an agent in Florida five under contract one is a property and purchasing for myself Congratulations there. Two listing agreements since the lockdown in Florida. No resting here. This agent says, I just closed my fourth deal since COVID today. Hashtag grinding. Danny here has seven closings in April. Tampa Bay market is on fire. And this one blows me away right here. This agent has had her license for just two months. Just closed on my first escrow in nine days. Closing another in 20. Okay, so this, this agent literally got her license as soon as uh, the pandemic started. Okay, and she's, she's closing deals in her first two months. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. Okay, here's an agent over in Iowa. Market is hot in northwest Iowa. I have eight closings in the next six weeks. Two of the eight, eight are summer seasonal homes for my clients. The last day I had off was Easter. Been hustling hard throughout the entire COVID pandemic. Here's one. I've done two deals start to finish during COVID and two more under contract. Business is unlimited. Here's another one. It sure as heck was. We've had two closings and one next week. Never give up. This one has eight under contract. Here's another one down in Florida. I put five deals under contract in April. Five under contract in April and battling multiple offers. The market is still so hot in Florida. This agent says we're busy as ever. Just listed our biggest listing yet. What coronavirus? Iggy here has six escrows opened in March and this week has been ridiculously booming. It's go time people, Central California. This agent here has five under contract, the most she has ever had at one point. This agent has more properties under contract right now than she's ever had in her career. And Blake says, I've been literally busier than I've ever been for the last two weeks. Now, if those comments don't get you fired up, I don't know what will. And just look at the data. I did this video the day after I did the video on why I think the real estate market will surge. It was in response to the data that NAR came out with that showed pending home sales were down 20.8% in March. And in that report, there was incredibly positive data that showed that in the last week, Mortgage applications were up 12%. Guys, the market is just as strong as ever right now. Please don't lay down. 
you need to double and triple down on everything that you've been doing up to this point. Do not stop what you're doing. The market is incredibly busy. Thinking, need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. 